Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about antibody and its structure. So let's get started. First of all, we should know that what are antibodies. So antibodies, these are glycoproteins which are present in our body and they are produced in response to an infection or disease. Whenever an antigen comes inside the body, then it is recognized by the B cells. And after recognition by the B cells, the B cell, it is differentiated into plasma B cells and memory B cells. These plasma B cells, now they, you can say these are the antibody secreting B cells. So these plasma B cells, they produce the antibodies and these antibodies, they finally interact with the antigen and ultimately kill or you can say degrade that antigen and in this way, these antibodies, they protect us from the disease. The portion of antibody which is specifically bind to the antigen, that portion is known, is known as paratope. In case of antigen, that portion is known as the epitope, but in case of antibody, the portion is known as paratope. And this antibody is also the part of B cell receptor, means the receptor of B cell is also formed of antibody. So antibodies are the glycoprotein which protect us from the diseases. Now let's discuss about the structure of an antibody. So antibodies consist of four polypeptides in which two are identical light chains and other two are identical heavy chains. This light chains, it consists of 220 amino acids while these heavy chains, they are consist of 440 amino acids. And these means these light and heavy chains, they are interlinked or connected with each other with the help of disulfide bonds. And the base of antibody is known as FC portion or crystallizable fragment while the upper portion of antibody it is known as the variable region and it is that portion where the antigen binds that's why it is also known as fab means antigen binding fragments now what about the light chains so as i told the light chains they are short and within the light chain there are two region one region which is you can say which is uh, different among the different antibodies or many variability can be seen in this region. So that region is known as variable region. And it is that region where the antigen bind, means antigen bind to the variable region. Within the variable region, there is another region where the maximum variability can be seen. That is known as a hyper variable region or CDR, means complementarity determining region. And behind the, or you can say, the lower portion of that light chain, it is known as the constant region why because the amino acid sequence it remain constant among the antibody so that's why known as a constant region on the basis of constant region light chains are generally of two types that is kappa and lambda so a single antibody can have single light chain either kappa or lambda but can never contain both of these kappa and lambda light chain next heavy chains so as in case of light chains Heavy chain also have a reason which is variable or which show variation among the different antibodies that is known as the variable region and it is that region where the antigen bind or you can say it is the region which contain the antigen binding site and similarly the lower part or the region of constant sequence between you can say beyond that variable region is known as the constant region. It is that part of the region uh, of the antibody which is responsible for the function of antibody and on the basis of the constant reason antibody generally have five classes that is gamma alpha mu delta and epsilon and the carbohydrate moieties they are also attached to the fc portion or constant region of antibody that's why antibody is known as also known as glycoproteins here you can clearly understand the diagram from this diagram of antibody so as you can see there are two chains one light chain and another heavy chains in the green shade or which is the shorter one these are light chains while the larger one these are heavy chains and these red lines these represent the disulfide bonds it means the light chains and heavy chains they are interlinked or these are connected with the help of disulfide bonds and the reason, the upper reason where the antigen bind, 
which is known as antigen binding region it is the variable region the v stand for variable and vh means variable region of heavy chain and vl means variable region of light chain beyond this variable region in case of light chain there is a constant region but in case of light chain there is only one constant region that is denoted by the cl the means constant region of light chain but in case of heavy chain there may be three or four constant region which are denoted here by ch1 ch2 and ch3 the carbohydrate moiety they are also attached to the fc or you can say fragment crystallizable fc portion of the antibody and this is the portion which is responsible for the biological activity of antibody means from the variable region antigen bind to the antibody and after binding to the antigen the response shown by the antibody is generally through this constant region that's why it is also known as biological activity region so this is the you can say this is diagram is the structure of an antibody and there are certain domains within this antibody because if you you can say if you see in uh, many detail or much more detail the structure of antibody you will find some domains means in the variable region that domain is known as vh means variable region of heavy chain and these domains are generally you can say these are formed due to the amino acid folding so clearly speaking that in case of ultra structure of antibody you will find certain domains and if the domain is in the light chain that is denoted by vl and if the domain in the heavy chain it is denoted by the vh and similarly in the constant region there are domains are also there in some antibody class like iga igd and igz there are two constant domain why because they also have a another region which is known as heinz region and this heinz region make the antibody more flexible so that it can adjust itself according to the antigen but in case of igm and ige these two antibody they contain three constant domain because they do not have the heinz region so this is you can say this is the ultra structure of antibody which showing the immunoglobin domains so that was about the structure of antibody and thanks for listening see you in the next video